2 plus 1 system. Joke's on us, they left. <laughs> <laughs> civilian men, they're equally uninteresting. In this town, at any rate, it is all the same. If you listen to one of the local intelligentsia, be he civilian or military, he is sick and tired of everything. Either he's sick and tired of his wife, his house, his horses, or his estate. A Russian is peculiarly given to an exalted way of thinking. So why is it that in life he falls so short? Why? Why? Why is he sick and tired of his wife, sick and tired of his children? And why are his wife and children sick and tired of him? You're not in a very good mood today. <laughs> Perhaps not. I've had no dinner. I've been eating since the morning. One of my daughters isn't very well. And one of my little girls are ill. I am seized with anxiety. My conscience torments me for having given him such a mother. If you could have seen her today. What a worthless creature. We began quarreling at seven in the morning, and at nine I slammed the door and left. I never talk about this. Strangely enough, I complain only to you. Don't be angry with me. If not for you, I have no one. No one. Such a noise in the stove. Just before Father died, there was a wailing noise in the chimney. There, just like that. Are you superstitious? Yes. <laughs> That's strange. You are a wonderful, splendid woman. Wonderful, splendid. It's dark here, but I can still see the sparkle in your eyes. It's lighter here. I love you. Love you, love you. I love your eyes, your gestures. I dream about them. Splendid, wonderful woman. When you speak to me like this, for some reason I laugh, though I'm frightened. Don't do it anymore, I beg you. But say it anyway. I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind. Someone is, is coming. Talk about something else. Yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> 